Hello there, welcome to Kai Tuning with Paul. Today, we're doing a special request. Today, I'm going to show you how to drive the Wonder Twins. So come on, let's get started. Hello, Kai Tuners, that's right. Michael's been requesting how to drive the Wonder Twins from that legendary series, Super Friends. So, let's dive right on in. So, in trying to research how I'm going to do this video I was trying to come up with um, a decent a decent pose for uh, for demonstration but the more I went into this the more it was obvious that I should just stick with what works right um, and what really works for Zan and Jaina the Wonder Twins uh, is a heroic pose where they're linking their rings so what we're going to do is I'm going to give him his line of action. I'm going to give his line of action just like so. Remember, it's his, um, it's his spinal column, right? And then it's going to continue down. And then I'm just going to lightly throw in some shoulder line here, uh, his hips. I'm going to bring it up here. And now let's uh, let's just let's just lightly draw him in first so we've got we've got his rib cage in here we've got his hips here like this right now remember we're drawing super friends this isn't the justice league and what i mean by that is that the animated series is the justice league of america but it wasn't um it wasn't a bruce tim thing so we're not going to draw Bruce Tim style here. Let's see here. Uh, briefs area. You guys are going to have to excuse my voice today. I have come down with a bit of a cold. Now that we're all getting back to normal and everybody's back to work and back out there among everybody, it appears that um, my immune system needs to catch up. Okay, let's see. Yep, so we got one. And I'll fix this up. This will look better in a minute. Okay, we've got a kind of a widened stance. His shoulders are back. His leg is going to be a little forward here. ever so slightly and now from here I know I'm just gonna lightly draw in where his arm would be so that I can take this and I can bring it this way so his arm will roughly be about that long. Now, now that I've done that, I'm going to stick with the model sheet and I'm going to put his hand on his hip. We're just drawing this very roughly right now. So we've got Zan in here. So now let's throw in his twin sister, Jaina. So for those of you who don't know what we're, what we're drawing here, <laughs> let, me, let me give you a, a, a very, very brief history lesson here. So back before there was the Justice League Unlimited, before Justice League, before Batman the Animated Series, we had the Justice League in a TV series called Super Friends. It was from 1977, uh, and it had a very different feel from the Justice League. Now, I'm going to make sure that uh, Zan's twin sister, Jaina, is just slightly shorter than Zan. So Hanna-Barbera created this Justice League series, and... Um, it had a very lighthearted feel. There were lots of jokes. There were lots of kid gimmicks. Um, these two had a pet monkey. 
and uh, it would it would seem to get itself into trouble. Uh, there was another there was another boy girl team that used to kind of uh, mess around and uh, cause trouble for Batman and Robin, and they had a pet dog, and that dog was always in trouble. It was it was it was a different day. <laughs> so okay, so these two they're twins right hence the name and uh they yeah shoulders uh down here we're going to do the hips her body is more head on but kind of at a at an angle and a twist anyway these two are twins obviously and they have this superpower each of them wears a ring and they connect the rings and they are able to shapeshift. Right, Wonder Brother. And for that, we'll need a little XOR handiwork. Wonder Twin Powers, activate. Form of a seagull. Shape of an ice gondola. Come on, Gleek. Let's go. <laughs> but they don't shapeshift into anything useful. <laughs> One of them would turn into a bucket of water. The other one would turn into a lasso. It's like, okay. Uh, that's just an example. They turned into all kinds of stuff. And you'll have to excuse me. I can't come up with many other <laughs> examples because I have not seen this show since uh, the early 80s. Oh, it was a Saturday morning cartoon. And uh, they ran these things on reruns for, oh, for years and years and years and years. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah. So if you're wondering why they have these funky haircuts, and you'll see when, when we're done. Uh, yeah, it's because they're from 1977. Let's not knock 1977. That was the year I was born. I was born two months before they released Star Wars. It was, uh, it was an interesting time in history, and uh, I wasn't born a moment too soon. Okay, so now we've got this leg. It's going to be uh, mostly turned. It's going to be straight down. want to thank whoever gave me this cold. <laughs> uh, I was sick not two weeks ago with a stomach bug. Fortunately, I had filmed a whole bunch of episodes before that, so, <laughs> so it didn't throw off my schedule. But man, oh man, that knocked me down for a few days. Okay, so this is going to be our pose, right? I'm pretty comfortable with the proportions for the most part. Let's dive in with some detail. So for the most part, um, all of their proportions are, are pretty standard. With it being Hanna-Barbera, they would often um, not throw the, the whites of the eyes in. They'd just paint the whole face, uh, the uh, skin color. And that's what we did here. And they have kind of like a, an elfin look to them. We've got some fun-shaped eyes here, right? You know, we've got these curled eyelashes here that are a little fun. And then we've got these eyebrows that tend to slant downward a lot. About halfway down from the eyes to the chin is where the nose will go. He's got an upturned nose. And then he has like an elf-like grin. You don't want to push it too hard. I'm going to make sure that he can still look um, uh, heroic. So I'm just going to darken in his profile here. 
this outline. And he has a pretty standard face shape. And then the ear, which, you know, goes from the bottom of the nose to the top of the eyes, right? Except, like I said, they have like these elf-like qualities. So they have these pointed ears. And then the most fun of drawing his head is this horrible hairdo. <laughs> I say horrible. Uh, a lot of other people may not see that. He wears um, a haircut that looks a lot like, like a motorcycle helmet. It's just very big. It's a sign of the times. It was 1977. Yeah, so I can get this curve right. Just turn the paper. And I'll just shade this in. All right. And then in the back, let's get this little curl right back there. Like I said, it's been a long time. I don't remember the history of these characters any more than just the fact that they're twins with superpowers of shape-shifting. But as a kid, they were a lot of fun to watch. i got to be honest with you. I enjoyed them as a kid. It was a little odd when I discovered that they're not really a standard DC character. Actually, I believe they are now. Uh, or it's an independent comic. Uh, they have a comic series that uh, seemed to take off a little bit. They've got these um, these collars that upturn. And now that I got that, I can throw in some uh, some body detail. Let's give him some definition. So looking at the chest here he's strong but he's not you know like Superman or Batman strong he has some muscle definition but not overly so Like we just see a little bit of some pecs here, but we don't see any um, any abs or anything. And then right here, we're gonna throw in, just cause I'm here, I'm gonna throw in that triangle right there. So now, let's, uh, let's see his deltoids, that's his shoulder. I'm comfortable with where his arm is. Now let's give him some bicep some tricep see the thing about these series with Hanna-Barbera Hanna-Barbera took a lot of um, a lot of shortcuts you know you would see you know the backgrounds repeat when they're driving down the road or, or running across town um, they would often repeat the same cells over and over again um, but when they came to this series, they spent a lot of time on their poses. You know, they, they got the muscles in all right. Their proportions looked pretty good. Um, it was when it was when they animated the moving. That's when they got really stiff. Um, and I'm just realizing here in the model sheet, he's actually holding his other glove. So let's uh, let's just let's just do that. It uh, probably would have been helpful to let you know he's wearing a glove here. There we are. And now, let's see. I'm going to continue down this, this center line here. And we're going to find where his, his belt goes. He's got this high-waisted belt. It goes right about here. There's a 
elongated oval right here in the center. And then it's going to And then it's gonna just kind of mirror that top line there. Oh, there we go. He's wearing trunks. Like so. And now let's uh, let's clean up these legs. Let's remember some muscle groups in here. Like I said, they got all the muscle groups in there. All the ones that made sense. But animating the characters, they had a hard time keeping them keeping them looking okay. They went out of model a lot. Storylines weren't very hot. Okay, that's one leg. Alright, let's go to the other leg here. And let's yeah, he's This arm is going to be extended, so the so it's going to look a little differently here. Let's um, elbow. So like I said, he took off his, his other glove here, so he's got this sleeve that cuts off on an angle. And then, let's uh, figure out his fist. And then I'm just going to make it easy here and rectangle the fingers. And then I'll separate them out like that and clean them up. So now let's go in and draw Jaina here. They're twins. They have very similar features here. So we're going to give her those eyes. I'm going to just feminine them up a little bit. Weird eyelash curl there. And curl. The eyebrows. And then we've got a very upturned feminine nose, so it's going to be a little smaller than his. A little nostril. Okay. Now, you'll find that I draw in the mouths like Bruce Tim a little bit, and then I, then I alter the, the design. I just find that the way that he does those, it just really, really works. But it looks more like a Archie comic smile here. Okay. And then let's just throw in contour the face. She too has an elf-shaped ear. And they go to the same hairdresser. Okay, so now her hair is going to be flat across as well, except we've got a little separation there. Give her some bangs. And just kind of feminine her hair a 
a little bit. All right, I think that will do. Sometimes you don't know until you shade in the hair if you got it right. Let's see. Yeah, of course I made her taller now. <laughs> of course I did. Okay, let's see. Let's let's give her her costume now. Got that fun '70s influence collar going there. And I'm just going to throw in that rectangle now. And let's let's play with throwing in some detail here. Um, all right, I'm going to give her a matching belt. Speaking of matching, their costumes are almost identical. So, throw in that belt like this. A leotard line there like that. And here we go. You gotta remember when you're drawing a, the female, you gotta draw in her hands, her arms, her feet, uh, smaller than you would the man. You wanna elongate the muscles in her legs. With a man, they're bulked up. Mm, those aren't the best feet in the world. Okay. I'll fix them. Alright, so now, like I said, we've got identical... Identical costumes. And she is also holding on to her other glove. And now, let's... Throw in this arm here. Let's see. Um, smaller hand, right? Oh, I can almost hear them them talking here. Okay. Yeah, let's. I think I overdid his length of his arm and underwhelmed her but that's what you get when you're not measuring so now when we throw in their emblems on their chests her name is Jaina so she has a J It's a gold letter on a dark purple triangle. And he is Zan, so there's a Z on his. And that Z is pretty wildly shaped here. Let's see. Well, Michael, I hope you liked this video. Guys, if you like this video, please feel free to give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like drawing videos like this, I've got a whole playlist of how to draw like Bruce Tim right here for you. I want to thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. And until the next video, we'll see you later.